All right, third graders. Today we are going to be focusing more on character traits. And at this point, you should be a pro. Good readers analyze clues provided by the author in order to infer character traits. Remember that infer means that you're giving an educated guess based on hints and clues that they have given you in the text or in the passage. Who or what, sorry, what is a character? A character is a person or animal in a story. Think of the name of a character from a story that you've recently read, or think of the story that I read to you yesterday. Who was the character in that? Two types of traits. Traits are adjectives that describe a person. There are two types, external, and internal. External means on the outside of the body. Internal means on the inside of the body. External character traits are physical traits that you can see. Notice the eyeballs. What you can observe and see on the outside. So on this person, you can tell she has blonde hair. You can tell she has black eyes. You can tell she has a green flower on her shirt, and you can tell that her hair is short. Those are things that you physically can see because they are on the outside of her. All right, we are going to actually try this and apply it. So here is an external picture of a little girl. So we're gonna be thinking of the outside of her. What can we see? It is your turn to try. Look at the character and draw lines to label her external character traits. Well, we can see she has brown hair. We can see that she has glasses. We can see that she has brown hair and it's in braids. She has red bows in her braids. She likes, I'm guessing, the color brown and red. She's wearing a striped shirt. She's wearing a bracelet. She's wearing leggings. And then I'm not sure what kind of shoes those are. Internal character traits are personality traits that you cannot see, okay? So you actually have to look inside and analyze that character. You want to think about those thoughts, the dialogue, so the things that the, the people say or the characters say, the feelings and the actions. So think of that chart that we would do that we would say fast, okay? The F was feelings. What was the A? That is correct. The A was actions. What was the S? That is correct. Says. Says is the same thing as dialogue. Those are synonyms of one another. And T was thoughts. Okay, so think of that fast chart that we would do in class. All right, think of this one. Okay, this is an internal, so it's happening inside of his head. What is the character thinking? Sarah looks like she is sitting all by herself at the lunch table again. I think that I'm going to go sit next to her and ask her how her weekend was. Oh, well, we can't tell that's what he was thinking, but we would be able to see him go sit beside her, and we would know why he was doing it because she was lonely. So he is a very caring person. That would be his character trait. Okay, this one is internal. So again, we cannot see it. It's She's thinking it inside. Okay, so dialogue. What the character says. You can do it, Patrick, yelled Mia from the sideline. Well, again, she's not actually saying it. She's just saying it in her head. Well, that's very encouraging. She's encouraging that person to do well. So that would be her character trait. Here's another internal. So again, we can't see it, but it's happening. This is an action, what the character does. And we're going to be looking for verbs. Amanda snatched the doll out of Molly's hand and threw it on the ground. Oh, no. Well, somebody snatching something out of somebody else's hand is not nice. And throwing it on the ground. Oh, that's awful. So what is her character trait? Yeah, she's definitely mean. Here's another internal character trait. This one is um, related to feelings. So look for the character's expressions. And this character obviously has his hands up and definitely he's smiling. 
I got my project topic and with a big smile on my face, I got right to work. Now again, we can't tell that's what he's thinking, but inside that's what um, he is thinking. All we can see is that he's excited because his hands are in the air and he has a smile on his face. So if we saw him start to get to work right after he got the project or the topic from his teacher, we could tell that he was motivated. So that would be his character trait. So a lot of these are based on things that we would have to see with our very own eyes. Okay, here are some internal character trait examples. I'm just going to read some of them. So for nice, it says helpful, friendly, thoughtful, and kind, because you're trying to use other words, other synonyms, rather than just saying the person's nice. For mean, you could say the person is wicked, rude, cruel, or impolite. If the person is happy, instead of saying happy, you could say cheerful, excited, delighted, joyful. If the person is showing that they are sad, instead of saying that word, try depressed, serious, gloomy, or miserable. And then you can read the rest on your own, so go ahead and pause this. All right, we're gonna try some more. So this is going to be feelings, okay? It is your turn to try. We're gonna read the paragraph and determine an appropriate internal character trait. So this is happening inside this person, Seth. When Seth saw the pile of empty boxes, a feeling of excitement bubbled up inside him. He couldn't wait to begin building the ideas he was imagining. Maybe a robot or a spaceship. There are so many different possibilities. So I can tell, based on what Seth is thinking, that he is creative. Now, I wouldn't actually know that until he actually started and I saw him doing it, but based on this blurb that we can actually see inside of him, he is showing and telling us that he is a creative person. All right, let's look at Brandon. Now, this is going to be an action. We're going to read the paragraph, and we're going to determine an appropriate internal character trait. So this is happening inside Brandon. Brandon glances at his math homework inside. It would take too long to do these five word problems. He quickly scribbled some random numbers on the line and slammed his book shut. Done! Well, Brandon's not really done. He barely even tried, so I can tell that Brandon is lazy. That would be his character trait. Okay, here is dialogue, and this is Danielle. So we're going to read the paragraph and determine an appropriate internal character trait, so something that's happening inside of her. So what is Danielle thinking? This is how we are going to split the work, Danielle said sternly. I'll work on the poster while you two work on what we're going to say for the presentation and make sure it sounds good. Oh, she didn't ask them what they wanted to do. She just told them exactly what they're going to do and exactly what she's going to do. So that tells me that Danielle is bossy. And I can tell that this is dialogue because if you look inside the rectangle, you can see the quotation marks. Those are the things that she is saying to those other people that she's working with. But she's not working very well. Okay, moving on. This next box is also going to be internal. So it's what Amy is thinking. These are her thoughts. So we're going to read the paragraph and determine an appropriate internal character trait. Amy wondered what would happen if she signed her mom's name on her science test. She knew if her mom saw a bad grade, she wouldn't be allowed to go to the party. She thought if she signed it, nobody would know, and she wouldn't get in trouble. Oh, Amy, Amy, Amy tells me that she is trying to be sneaky because she thinks that if she signs it and nobody knows, everything will be okay, which is not going to be the case. And she's being very dishonest because you do not ever sign your parents' name and you don't lie to your teacher. So Amy is dishonest and I would also say that she's sneaky. So I came up with two internal character trait words for Amy there. All right, last slide. Be mindful of your thoughts and your actions. Think about what character traits would be attached to you. So how would people describe you internally and how would people describe you externally? 
While you're thinking about that, go ahead and go back to Google Classroom and see what you need to do next. Enjoy!